Hi again, Kenneth Scott Latourette, History of Christianity, the chapter of the Smaller Eastern Churches. Latourette is now dealing with the Nestorian Christians in the Middle Ages. This chapter is, this section of the chapter is entitled Nestorian Christianity and its Eastward Extension. The form of Christianity which had the widest geographic spread in this period was the one which is usually given the name Nestorian. To be sure, it did not win the official adherence of any important state, and with the possible exception of a few tribes in Central Asia, and perhaps an occasional section and city of the Tigris-Euphrates Valley, was never more than the faith of a minority. Yet it had some important effects, and its course is of great interest. Nestorianism owed its prominence to the fact that it constituted the major church in the realms of the Persian monarchs and then of the Abbasid caliphs. We have seen something of the early history of Christianity in the Persian realms, of its persecution, of the introduction of doctrines associated perhaps mistakenly with the name of Nestorius, and of the fashion in which separation from the Catholic Church occurred and a distinctive organization was set up with its patriarch or Catholicos at the Persian capital, which was Seleucia. Let's see if we can get this one right. C T E S I P H O N. Seleucia, what? Cetisphon or Cesiphon. In their structure and customs, the Nestorians were very similar to the other Eastern churches and seem not to have stressed in their teaching the differences in their beliefs about the relation of the human and divine in Christ. They had monasteries, and in the period with which we are here concerned, they insisted that the bishops and Catholicos must be unmarried. They had the Eucharist, they had images of Christ and of the saints, and held in reverence the relics of martyrs and other outstanding Christians. The coming of the Arabs brought the Nestorians some relief from the chronic and occasionally severe persecutions from which they had suffered under the Zoroastrian Sassanids. To be sure, they were required to pay a special head tax, as were other Christians in Muslim realms, from time to time, especially during wars with the Byzantine Empire. The church buildings of Nestorians as well as of other Christians were destroyed, particularly those which had been erected contrary to the laws which forbade fresh construction. Yet many Nestorians were employed by the Arabs and were given high places in the Arab court. Some Christians were exempted from the head tax. During the first few generations of Arab rule, before the new masters had acquired the arts of the high civilization in which they had settled, the Nestorians provided accountants for the government, the, and physicians, astrologers, and philosophers for the realm. Nestorians were prominent as bankers and merchants. As we have more than once noted, it was Christians who first translated into Arabic some of the works of the ancient Greek philosophers, much that the Christians of Western Europe were later to learn from the Muslim Arabs had first been taught the latter by the Nestorians. The Nestorians engaged in extensive missionary activity. In spite of pro prohibi no, prohibitory laws, they won numbers of converts from the Persian Zoroastrians more than they were later to gain from the Muslim Arabs. South and east of the, of the Caspian, in Central Asia, they had many communities and missionaries. There were Nestorian churches and bishops, and even metropolitans in some of the caravan cities of Central Asia, among them Merv, Hezat, and Samarkand. Before the Arab conquest, Christianity seems to have spread widely among the non-Christian peoples of this area, notably among the Turks and the get this one now, H-E-P-H-T-H-A-L-I-T-E Huns, that's the Hephalite Huns, until the coming of Islam, its chief rival in Central Asia, appears to have been Manichaeism. Uh, after the military advances of the Arabs, Islam became the major competitor, but the issue of the contest between the, the cross and the crescent was not decided until well after 950, when, as we are to see, the cross lost. More about the Nestorians next time. I'll put in a link to 
YJW Org Will Fall and the Church Will Stand. This is the first of four videos in that playlist in which we discuss the the parables, the first two parables of Matthew 13, the, the sowing, the sower, and the wheat and the weeds parables. And that's four videos linked together. And I'll also put that playlist in, YJW Org Will Fall and the Church Will Stand. See you next time.